Hey, what's going on? Forgot all about these uh, uh, type of videos. Busy doing lives and going on other people's channels. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, well, let me uh, stop making this noise for a second. Matter of fact, I went on, um, I don't even know what the name of the channel was. Lion Azuda or some sh something like that. Sure, a lot of you may have seen it if you're on that channel. Yeah, I think that was first time in a long time I got on live on with Saad Netter on there. He was looking nervous, like I was about to uh, uh, say a whole bunch of stuff, but I said I'm going to keep it on the, the main purpose of my going up there. Because you know I could have said a whole bunch of stuff like, why'd you block me? But well, we know why I got blocked. And he blocked my uh, backup too. So, you know. But it was about my aunt forever being scared, calling people names or, you know, saying this, that, and the other. But he's too uh, afraid to confront people live. I mean, it's, it's not a, uh, we're not face to face. You put information out there, you claim that it's a fact. The most harm that I could do is ask questions. Now, of course, when a man is, acts like he doesn't know what an afro is, that's a man that, you know, you got to wonder what his motives are. You don't know what an afro is. So, you know, I had to get him on that. I got him on Sanchez, too. <laughs> that's why I called in on Sanchez that time, because I said, the hell with that. I said, this guy is a coward. This guy, you know, he runs from me. He's running from Sanchez. You know, he doesn't want none of Sanchez. So I know that that's a whole different matter. That guy is all happy and panties getting wet because he used to have Sonetta and his crew on his channel, getting his numbers up. But when, when he doesn't have them on, he's not talking about them. He has nothing going on. And keeping in mind, this guy is all the way in Europe. A European male who is beefing with people who he's nowhere near. But I don't care about the beef. That that wasn't my concern. I know my aunt is listening. My main concern is, he keeps talking about being a man. You need to be a man and stand by whatever you say and go challenge people. If you call people out, you know, you go to those people and tell them what the issue is. Don't run. That's why I come to you and I'm not showing my face ever. <laughs> so it doesn't matter uh, if that's your uh, requirement or not. But that's one of the things that people do to try to make people, uh, you know, try to keep people away. Say, hey, you got to do this. You got to do that. But the guy's a coward, you know. Yeah. Now, you know me. Now, I, I, some people might say, hey, I gave uh, Sanchez some compliments. And some people might say, oh, boy, you wouldn't take on a Sanchez. You damn right I would. <laughs> but when I do it, it wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have to. It ain't going to take hours and hours. That ain't no shot, but I'm just saying. It ain't going to take hours and hours arguing about stuff that either can't be argued about or is not related to anything. But anyway. That's not the main point of today. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to another. Uh, outlet, so to speak, because I've been looking at their numbers, checking them out. Looks like they're doing good uh, numbers, having good uh, subs, people who are on YouTube and are being held back. They're doing good over there. And people who might be doing good on uh, being held back or not being held back over there, they're not doing too well on YouTube. But as you know, I'm one of the people getting held back. And I appreciate a platform with free speech, but I do suspect that as it continues to grow, you know, it's free speech right now. But I'm sure if Google offered them two and a half billion dollars three billion dollars i'm sure that they'll say hell yeah we'll take it then that's the end of that then you gotta wait for another one to come up then google will pay them again 
you know? A lot of people don't realize before Google, you did you did a, a search for videos. You would get videos related to any website that's on any website. But now, since they own YouTube, you do a search for videos. It's only vi really videos going back to YouTube. Nothing else. <laughs> and then other search engines... They try to, even though the videos will go back to YouTube, they don't really emphasize that it's on YouTube unless you keep clicking. But yeah, I've been checking out the format. I, I'll let you know once it's set up. Might be set up right now. But I, I, from what I'm reading about them, it doesn't look like you can go live unless you pay. So if that's the case, I'll probably use YouTube for lives. But the other platform looks like that's the one, you know, I like free speech. Seeing a totalitarian uh, society, which is what the small hats want, because they're God's chosen people. Everybody else, they're nothing but spittle onto the ground. They don't want free speech. You got to keep in mind, they started communism. They don't like free speech. They like you do as I say, God damn it. And that's it. So, you know, you, you say things over here. You got to call people small hats and shit. Now, I'm going to test that other format and see how far they're going to go. <laughs> We're going to see how far they take it. But um, if they take it, let you say anything, because I've been checking out different different videos and just trying to see how far they'll let you go. You know, if they let you go very far, then I'll praise the, the, the format. But as you know, on YouTube, some people may not know or may not realize it, but you see a lot of people's channels, uh, you know, they won't allow you to grow. You know, like I had one lady I commented on her channel her channel, she basically gets her stories out of Ebony and Jet magazines from the past. That's how her channel is rolling. And I just suggested to her, you know, when she did the story on Sylvester, why are you promoting the gay scene more than worrying about just saying, talking about what he went through? You don't have to promote his gay style, gay lifestyle. You could talk about it. You could say how uh, being gay affected him against society, all that kind of stuff. But you don't have to go promoting the shit. I hate when people do that shit. If you if you're gay, promote it. If you're not gay, don't promote it. And then don't try to convince us that you're not gay because, but you're still promoting it. If you're promoting it that damn much, motherfucker, you need to start doing it then. Or else, if you ain't doing it, don't promote it. I mean, what the fuck do you want to uh, does it make any sense? But yeah, man. So anyway, she called me. She said, I ain't going to take no advice from an unsuccessful YouTuber. A Negro woman, of course. You know, acting like uh, YouTube is the uh, state of the art in uh, life accomplishments. I guess for a ghetto hood rat, I guess it might be. But I didn't take offense to it because, you know, a lot of these people don't understand. Some people are kept down. And you could tell that because you look at my live views and my uh, video views versus my sub count. Then you look at other people with their sub count versus how many people are in the chat when they go live versus their overall video views. And then you understand this is what real shadow ban banning is all about. You got people like Jason Black and them uh, lying, Tariq lying about being shadow banned because they want to make, they want to appear to be real. You can't be shadow banned with a quarter of a million subs or a hundred thousand subs. That's not shadow banning. What I have is shadow banning. <laughs> so stop the bullshit. But I think once I test the other uh, platform. I probably I still keep this up, but 
you know, I prefer free speech. I'm going to put all the other videos up that got taken down. And I'm going to put up other controversial appearances that I made and, and stuff so you can hear every damn thing. <laughs> and even my interactions with some of the so-called master teachers. I'm going to let you hear all that. Some people heard them. Some people didn't. And I talked about it, but I never put them out there because, you know, you got Negroes out here. Want to hate. Anyway, this is related to the main topic, which is YouTube channels that just keep getting taken down. Now, that's another reason I'm moving to the format, even though I'm not getting paid off of YouTube. But there were other people who either were getting paid or who put in a lot of years and time getting subs. And for some odd reason, propaganda purposes from the small hats who run uh, YouTube, they just say, you know what? We don't want them now. We don't want this channel right now. So let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of everything black, everything that's not a, a, a coon factory. Let's get rid of everything that black people could use that's innocent. I'm going to name two channels off the top of my head that kind of pissed me off. That YouTube removed. Now, they both got backup channels one of them acts like he's not really pissed he's basically like oh well nothing i can do about it but i know he's i know he's pissed off i think he had a hundred and thirty thousand subs or some shit like that i think he said six thousand videos you're gonna be pissed because it takes a long time to get that shit up Every time you start a new YouTube channel, unless you already had a name and, and you, you're trying to come up with a new one to uh, substitute the one that was taken, you're going to have a hard time getting subs up and views. Now, I admit this, this was my backup channel. The earliest videos that I was putting from the other channel up here, I didn't really put the metadata in that much so they didn't really get that much view many views but i hope hope on the other channel other format those those videos will get high level views again um one of the channels now well before i even name the name there are other channels that You know, when you had channel your channel taken down, you get your subs taken away, who you were sub to, so you kind of forget a lot of the people. Except for some, and then except for some, then sometimes you'll remember something and say, "Oh yeah, I remember what happened to this person." Then you go looking for them. YouTube took their channel down, and you start thinking to yourself, "Maybe I'm not sure of what their names were." And then when you don't find the channel, you're like, okay, maybe I, I, I was just wrong. Maybe I got the channel name wrong. That's what I hate about YouTube. They never give you, they say they give you warnings and then strikes. What I need or what anybody needs, you need warnings that say this is specifically what happened with your video. Don't just call something hate speech and then say, that's why it was removed. That doesn't say shit. And they know it. That's why they do it like that. Don't say you played music in the video. So we had to take it down. While, and what most people hate is the fact that 
and, and I had a different video that was earning me money. I would film videos of me in the car. That's right. Music would be on the radio or coming from somebody else's uh, thing. And they would say, oh, you can't put that on copyrighted music. And then I see other people with channels. I ain't trying to say no names or call people out, but they talk about playing your latest jams tonight. I'm like, man, this is a motherfucking radio station or YouTube. And then they let them do it. You show a movie clip. Copyright it. That's another thing too. I'm gonna bring that knowledge is what's up back too. Because I got a lot of information that I'm gonna put up again. And of course I gotta brand them because you know people like stealing videos and putting their names on the shit. So <laughs> that's why you gotta brand them. Because I'm going through some archives right now. Because now I made a few tweaks to my motherboard. Got me a new video card. Even though the other one was powerful enough as it was. But. I'm going to. What I'm going to do. I'm putting a whole lot of shit out now. Because now the computer is fast as fuck. It's already fast as fuck anyway. But even better. So, <clears throat> this one channel, I'm going to tell you about the first one. It had, Like I said, it had over 100,000, 130,000 subs. It had been out since 2008, apparently, or seven. But I just got wind of the damn channel, I think, two or three years ago. And I'm fi finding a whole lot of other channels like that, too. I'm like, none of them hit my radar. And then I go search them for one thing. Like when I did the live show with the Jet Ebony magazines talking about or not talking about Malcolm X and Sam Cooke. And again, that's still suspicious. No Sam Cooke mentioned on his death. But then they go in, uh talk about Sam Cooke's wife and Bobby Womack. Yeah, put them on the cover. I thought that was weird. And when you hear more about that Bobby Womack thing, it's like, God damn. It's like the man was trying to possess, be possessed by Sam Cooke. Which now, you know, a lot of people say that was a setup for his murder. I don't think down to the last detail, but he was definitely set up to take the bait on that hoe. And the fact that his death is not mentioned in, in a magazine called Jet, as in Jet Black, in ebony, as in dark brown, wood. You got to ask yourself, why not? And like I said, same thing with Malcolm X. They put Elijah Muhammad on the cover, but not Malcolm X when he got killed. That tells you all you need to know what it's all about. It's a boule outfit. But anyway, When I was doing the search research on that, that's how I came across that other lady's channel, which Tyron had known about, apparently. Because I was looking at articles on Jet and one of her, and she uh, covered one of those. So that's how I found out about hers. And then I was putting songs together on a playlist on my phone. I know people say you can stream. I don't like streaming music. I got the satellite. I mean, that's all right when you're in some crazy ass uh, woods and somewhere where you can't get a radio signal, which is rare now. Or you get tired of the damn radio, then you can scroll through the satellite radio, which I, it's not bad, though. It's not bad. I mean, I still didn't pay for it. They gave, they gave me another free trial. I didn't even ask for the shit. Well, I'll take it. I mean, $60 a year, I guess that really ain't bad, but shit. I mean, I don't really listen to it like that. But anyway, besides my files are the straight up, as good as you can get uh, files. So that's how I found uh, another channel. What do they call them? Reaction videos. 
And I'm like, damn, these people got 256,000 subs. I was like, God damn. And I never seen them, never heard of them before in my life until, shit, this might be about three months ago. And I told you this other guy named Tavarish. Now, these people still on. He go. Uh, he d- he does put in a lot of work with the videos, rehabs cars, ultra luxury cars and stuff. He got like 1.5 million views. Probably got two million by now. I said, damn. And I just heard of him a couple of years ago. I'm like, these people are so popular, but yet they didn't come into my recommendations or anything until. I guess I searched for something and on top of that I got three, four devices each with different accounts. That's what I said. <laughs> and they all got different recommendations. Totally different from each other. Anyway, let me get to this main point on this main cha- uh, uh, channel I'm talking about. It's called The Shea Show. Pretty good channel. He even made the news. Guy out of Detroit. Uh, he had a good channel. You know, I used to do construction, so it's good to kind of look back on and, and see how things get done or don't get done right. <laughs> so he would go around Detroit, check out all the uh, homes, abandoned homes, and people would buy them from all around the world, and have him manage the home. So some of them would never go to Detroit. And, you know, they'd be in Japan, England, wherever the hell they're at. And some would go because, you know, they really just want to check out the United States. And it's supposed to be a rental thing. He handles, you know, property management, handles the rent and all that kind of stuff. And the upkeep of the place. He tells them how much shit is going to cost and all that kind of thing. So... That channel has been on since at least 2008, if not 2007. What the fuck are these motherfuckers? Oh, okay, I was about to say, I don't know what the fuck kind of car they... Is there? <laughs> said a lot of people moving from uh, Mass- down here from Massachusetts, Utah, all types of wild states. Some of these white people act funny because I guess they're not used to black people you know being not kissing the ass I guess you know and they, some of them get nervous like a motherfucker like when I go to the garage to get something out the uh, trunk at night god damn they get scared like a motherfucker men or women and I walk fast normally anyway so I'm not slowing down just to make them feel safer. Shit, they got to take the motherfucking risk. Uh, That's the way I look at it. Fuck that. You make me feel at ease. I ain't making you feel at ease. Like one lady, she was walking through the hall. I was uh, behind her. I give her credit. She didn't turn around that one time. I'm I'm sure her ears were well tuned. (laughs) <laughs> and um, at least she didn't try to insult because it's an insult when you're constantly looking at somebody oh you trying to rob me what, what are you trying to do right rob <laughs> so but in the future though she should probably at least better observe because she was kind of small too but anyway anyway Shay Show watching that channel showed me you know what Detroit is like he even went to the Barry Gordy house uh you know show all the uh what's going on in Detroit and what it used to be about and what it is now and from watching that that's when I realized damn you know you can't even have a house without Negroes uh <laughs> I mean damn it's one thing to break in the house and, and take TVs and shit. You know, stuff you can pawn. These motherfuckers go the extra mile. They take shit that makes the house run. 
hot water heater, copper pipes, all types of shit. I'm like, God damn. You can't even build a house to operate and function without, if you leave it too damn long, <laughs> motherfuckers are going to be in it. And they ain't just taking your TV or your, your PlayStation. God damn it, they want to take your pipes. Every damn thing. It's fucking crazy. That's why I'm like, damn, the shit used to be... All those houses used to be nice residential. But it just goes to show that if people wanted to do something, they could. I'm starting to think the only way to get around that shit... Is to have hot water heaters and shit too large to take out of the house and have them bring in pieces and weld that shit together. <laughs> then that way they can't move that shit. That's the only way I, I could think of to, to stop thieves. Because the one thing that thieves hate most is limited time. People will take anything if they can get, they have enough time, but you got to limit their time. That's what you got to do. Limit the time because the more time they have, the more they can do what they want to do. Less time they have, they're like, fuck it. Let me just take what I could take or take nothing. And you need to be alert. If you're there, you, you need to be alert. That's what it's all about. That's what security is all about. You got to slow them, slow them down enough so that you could be alert so that you can spring into action. But if you're not there, let's say you go on a two week vacation and nobody's house sitting. And you know your neighbors know, even though they ain't gonna tell you that they know, you know they know. And then that mail gets piled up. That's why you better, if you go on vacation, you better make sure that um, any package you got coming, you already got it. <laughs> and that mail better not get piled up and if you do get you some uh, floodlights sent auto sensing lights and some uh, type of lights to make it look like you're at home come, that come on and off and shit but even then some that you know that won't stop some creeps because they're like oh somebody's home maybe it's one woman maybe I can go in and assault her you got a lot of crazy people out here. Anyway. Then. You know that, that that channel. You know. The man took you everywhere. Around Detroit. So if you never went there. You could say. Okay now I see what it's all about. It's pretty grimy. But. Here's why I feel bad for him. Not because of his views. Or his loss of the money. But because he had. A. He, I assume he saved, I hope he saved the videos. Like I said, I learned from my very first channel on YouTube that damn, if you don't save the videos, they take your channel down, that's that. So I don't have any of those videos saved, except for maybe a couple that were recorded on a uh, camcorder. Which were actually pretty boring. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. They were pretty boring. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, man, I don't even know where that footage is. I got to comb through. I got to straighten up some of these hard drives, man. I keep getting too many damn hard drives. But, um, you know, my man had, if you followed the man or look back on some of his videos, he had, Videos he did with his wife, who died, and he was able to, you know, look back on all the good times he had with, with her on the videos, and even when she died, his buddy died. Same thing, all the videos you can look back on. A kid that was a f boyfriend of uh, one of the kids in the neighborhood died. Somebody else died too. People who came down from different parts of the country and around the world to check out their homes that they purchased. Gone. Because those videos also served as 
evidence to show the homeowners this is what your house looks like here's what I did with the money that you paid me now that doesn't stop his home management business but those videos also enhanced it because he was able to parlay that into a, a national and global situation but one day a few weeks ago a month ago I said man you know, I never saw or haven't seen a new video from the Shea Show. You know, it's sad because all his people that used to be with them, you know, they ended up dying. So that was sad to look at. But he still kept on. So I'm like, I'm looking in the, because, uh, you know, he was pretty fairly regular with videos. So I look in the thing and I'm like, okay, I don't see any more uh, Shea Show videos. Then I said, damn, I know they didn't take my man's channel down. I look, it's gone. So I put in Shea Show in the uh, search and it's gone. He did put up new channels, but the original was gone. That's what I hate most about YouTube. What they need to do is say, you know what, your shit violates terms. But let you grab all the fucking videos. But see, that's why I learned from the first issue. Is every video you make, save them. Before you put them on YouTube. Save your lives, too. Like I said, the only live I lost was the uh, sports conspiracy. Before those coons took my channel down. But I think I'm going to come up with another one. An expanded edition. As you know, sports now is really getting highly suspicious. <laughs> it's to the point now, everybody else is starting to see that shit now. I mean, fucking these high ass scoring NBA games is losing my interest. I, I ha I've not watched most of the season of the NBA. I watched it in the first month. And then the whole football season, didn't watch the NBA. I only started watching it again maybe three weeks ago on a fairly regular basis, but not too much. But there was too many triple overtimes and high ass scoring games. I'm like, man, this is out of this is crazy. I don't want to see all this high uh, ass scoring. I'm going to give baseball a shot since they got the pitch clock in. I'm going to see what that's all about. That's something I had advocated years and years ago. But I don't think the way the MLB is doing it, I don't think that's a good way. Because I still said, you know, and stealing bases to me always made the game stretch out unnecessarily. But even with that, I said you should stick within the tradition of baseball and let people steal bases. But have a two minute pitch clock so people can still have the opportunity to steal bases. You know, you just can't keep having that shit going for a half hour. And of course, all those goddamn Latinos in baseball, nobody want got time to hear all that shit. Everybody that's in the game is a fucking Hispanic. Like it takes great skill to play baseball. I guarantee you none of those guys can hang on a basketball court or a football field. And that's why Baseball is the de facto number three sport. Because, like I said, the most the, the most popular sports are the ones with the most black Americans. You just can't substitute any old black pe people and expect the same results. You just can't do that. But they keep trying. But by now, they should know that they just can't do that. So... I hate when you drink the goddamn water and it always got us fucking spill no matter how careful you are. God damn. But, um, yeah, the Shea Show, I was disappointed to see that shit happen. You know, the guy seemed cool. And his channel meant no harm. The shit wasn't offensive. Yeah, yeah, curse words and shit. But you should be able to cuss. I mean, goddamn. 
But that wasn't it. They, they caught him. They, they gave him a strike and took his channel down because of music. Now, I know a lot of you might be saying he may have had a warning. Now, as we know, a lot of black people out here, they continue to push the boundaries of the YouTube rules. They'll get the warning, get the strike, wait for the shit to drop off, and then they'll try to push their luck again. So many black people do that shit. And I hate it because I'm like, damn, black people never want to follow no goddamn rules. But um, you got to do it. So they probably gave him a warning. Maybe he was too busy, didn't see it all. But then again, you know how YouTube can be sometimes. They will not tell you. You got to keep looking on the uh, status of your channel just to see what's going on and then you got other people who cooned out they let them stay on then i was looking at the uh, uh zabak zabak from the uh israelites we got next so i'm like then i used to see all their videos and i don't see any more of this shit the what's that other israelite group the uh the first one uh boy Whatever the fuck their name is, uh, they used to have uh, videos all over the place. Now they're gone. All they're getting all the Israelites except for the ones in purple, the IUIC, because they they say people say that they're the agents, but they keep their shit up. You see the trend? It's fucked up. So, you know that's the channel I like. It's just fucked up that that type of shit has to happen. Another channel who I was actually, you know, I actually missed maybe. I used to watch this shit all the time. And I admit I've been busy and distracted. So I kind of fell behind in his videos for maybe about the last, probably his whole entire year, really. <laughs> Uh, and that's Eric Muhammad. So I said, you know what? Let me start catching up on some of his shit. And then I said, well, what up? Where are the videos at? I said, damn. Don't tell me they took him down. So I had to search and search and search. Went on his, uh, thing, Instagram or Facebook. And he, you know, he told the, the situation on that. He said they took his channel down two times since I guess uh, uh, I last started watching. And I know he's pissed because, you know, he doesn't have the biggest audience, but it takes time to build the shit up. And you at least want to keep what you built up. That's what I that's that's the thing that I can't stand. Is not only do you they make you start all over again. Make you start at the bottom, you work your way up, and then they can arbitrarily accuse you of fucking up whenever they want to, just because they don't like you or what you stand for. It's fucked up. Really fucked up. So he didn't have anything. He had backup channels. Now, I remember him putting out videos since... Was it 2007 or something like that? Six? Back when he had the orangey background. All the videos he put up. See, you, you got to keep in mind. When they take your videos down, your channels down, and you want to put your old shit up, before it was a pain in the ass because people's upload speeds were, weren't the highest. Now it ain't not much of a problem because people's upload speeds are, you know, very fast now. But you got to sort through all the shit. It's like now you got to keep a database now because you got to sort through all the shit. And remember the chronological order. I mean, it's easy to put them in chronological order using Windows, but it's still a pain in the ass. 
and you keep asking yourself, okay, they shut me down. How can they shut these other people down? And they keep accusing him of hate speech. I guess when he calls white people crackers or something like that, devils. Now, admittedly, he pushes the envelope too. That's why I tell black people, okay, just don't do this, don't say that. Like when I'm on other people's channels, I say, well, I don't want to say a particular word. They say, no, you can say it. I say, no, nah, you don't want to keep just saying it because then they'll probably shut your shit down. They say, no, nah, say it. I'm like, okay, you say, tell me to say it, I'll say it. <laughs> you know? Me, I'll say the damn word that's on my channel because I'm like, they already shut my shit down, so fuck it. You know? But, again, I think they shut Eric Muhammad down because he talks shit about Farrakhan and Farrakhan is on the way out. So they want to shut him down. But they don't want to shut Farrakhan down. Now, I know some of you say, yeah, they didn't they shut his shit down? Man, people always keep up Farrakhan material. Farrakhan's a coon agent. That's why they don't want you knowing about other nations of Islam. It takes people like me to keep putting the shit out there and pressing it. And then that way, other people who are trying to act like they're not agents are forced to say these things. Don't think that I bring shit up for no reason. Because I, when I tell you people steal from me, I know that they are. Even if I, even if I don't say it. But I'll put shit out there because I want them to take it. And if they don't take it, because it's going to be a high, highly controversial point that I want them to take. If they don't take it, I know why they didn't take it. Because they're coon agents, that's why. So, again, when I speak, everything is for a purpose. You know, I don't just speak out of the ass for nothing. But, yeah, Eric Muhammad, that was the channel I liked. He got, you know him, if you know him, he'll put he'll keep on putting his shit up. As soon as it gets taken down, he'll put some shit up. There's another channel, too. I forgot what the fuck it was. Seeing Jason Black, he, he can stay on forever. Uh, I heard somebody challenge him on his appearance and all that kind of shit. My man's full of shit, too. But there's some other channels. I forgot the channel, but the main point I wanted to make was the fact that they keep taking shit down. And what pisses me off the most about it is not is because it's not something that they just put out. It's some video going back years. Like I told you, even when I had shit up, they gave me a strike on some shit from a video from a few years ago. And you know, I still got, I think it's the strike or the warning from over a year ago, almost two years ago. And I wasn't even told about it. I, I just look at the status every now and then because they love to play games. A warning on a video. I thought the warnings are supposed to drop off. But I guess not. But their system, they keep updating their system to detect shit. And they detected music in the in the guy's videos. Eric Muhammad language, you know, the F word for some odd reason is a word that they want to hate on now. The shit was on every fucking movie you, you can imagine. And that's what I uh, did with a lot of movie clips on that now. Is what's up, channel? I'm gonna put those clips back up. I think I saved them all. If not, I try to put some more up there because when I download my movies and uh, I see a highly questionable scene, I usually save the movie, write it down, and then edit edit the shit up. But since I'm telling you that I'm knowledge is what's up. Instead of putting it with words, maybe I'll, put, I'll use my voice this time. That'll go by, by quicker. But I, I really don't like leading people. 
in the videos. I just like them. You see it. And even when I had the channel, which was a good channel, I had lots and lots of subs and lots and lots of views. I think that channel had like 50 something thousand subs. And people who don't even like me were subbed to that channel. Which is another reason why I never use my voice on that channel. I just laid out the facts. You see it. You see what it is. You decide what you're seeing. Even in the comment section, I did not tell people, you need to see what I'm seeing. I just explained to what is being seen and heard. That's it. But that, that one got taken down when those coons took the other channel down. Which is another thing I hate about YouTube. If they take a channel down, that's all they need to do is take that channel down. Don't take nothing else down. Matter of fact, this other format, I got to see if they pull shit like that. Hopefully they don't because from what I'm reading, they don't like how YouTube operates. So, even though a lot of their rules are similar... But they insist that you have free speech. From the videos I've been observing, looks like that's the case. So I'm gonna uh, look into to uh, moving shit over there on that. And I'll let you know when. Probably be this week. Might even be before this video is up. So with that, I'm out.